Hi Edward, this is you, Simply Love, that's my stage name, aka Sandra, and um, I'm just doing a video for you, uh, a reading. Um, something was, something led me to you, I don't know what, I don't, it's, it's strange, strange things happen to me all the time, but I know it's always a signal or a sign from my um, spiritual, uh, from the spiritual side of, of, of everything that I do, I mean I'm just so in tune to a lot of things because I'm always like um, meditating, praying, uh, asking you know the Most High God who I can help, who I can talk to, and He sends people to me in mysterious ways. I mean, very mysterious, and that's what I think happened, you know, with us. If you see this, it's just my incense coming through. The, you know, the pre or Friday air. I have my um, my. Um, little crystal here which is my purple crystal which brings on power it, it it brings on a powerful reading when your spirit guides comes in which I've already prayed and meditated over uh, over you and to ask your angels that surround you each and every day um, to come in along with my family members spiritually and the high art angels um, to come in around these readings that's how powerful that I do and the cards that I do use are, are angel cards I read because I believe in the angels and they are our guiding angels which we will become you know when we pass over to the spiritual world so it's so nice meeting you and um, like I said it's weird how, how how the most high God does things I was led to you just by I don't know by looks because that's the way it is sometimes you know we look at somebody and say wow oh, wow they're handsome or oh wow she's cute or something like that and then you just kind of look and it was just, when I looked at your some of your pictures I was just looking in your eyes and it was like something was telling me do a reading for him which I know it was my spirit God do a reading for him do a reading for him there's something he needs to know there's something we need to tell him so and then you text me like hi how you doing and we, you know just went back and forth so I was like you know you seem like you were cool with it I know you probably went through my Facebook as well you know to see the things that I'm doing you know on my Facebook page so you know about my readings you know I'm a medium you know I'm a spiritual reader I'm not no I'm not a tarot card or I'm not a um, uh, astrologer anything at all I use bits and pieces of astrology to let you know like what signs that may come up like far as what the sign is related to the person it may help you relate to who I'm talking about throughout the reading other than that I don't I don't get into going into these different houses that you have to go into and you're the cu on the cusp of this or the cusp of that you know all this confusion you know I don't believe the most high God wants things to be confusing I think he wants everything to be straight direct and simple and that's my type of style of reading and I do read spiritually which means I meditate and I ask for the spirit spirit guides to help me I mean when I look at these cards sometimes I don't I don't read the books they come with books and things like that I throw the books away because there's no reason for me if I'm gonna do this spiritually and tell the truth to people it has to come from above it has to be a spiritual being our creator the person who thought about us before this world was even formed or created you know I we have to get the uh, word from him which comes from his messengers which are the angels that he created along with us and along with you know people that has passed on from uh, on the other side so I do uh, medium and I'm empathic and and just a spiritual reader that's it I'm nothing scary about me I don't do no scary stuff I don't do no heebie-jeebies or tell you to do heebie-jeebies I'm just if you watch some of my videos already I'm just pure I'm just myself and I just use my ask the most high God to use my body um, as a tool to help other people to help uh, other people and, and get the messages and these are nothing but messages for you and about your life so enough of me babbling on if you've seen some of my videos you see I can just rattle on and rattle on okay so we're gonna start your reading um, you said your name was Edward so that's what I want to use Edward if you don't mind I'll use Edward when I if I have to use your name at all um, um, and just to let you know don't be offended by anything this is not nothing to be offended or scared of or anything like that it's just like I said the messages that the Most High God wants you to hear for you in your life and um, I don't um, sometimes I find myself repeating myself 
because I try to get a point across sometimes and I have to work on that <laughs> because when I do do the YouTube videos I figure you know people can just rewind it and then listen to it again so I'm gonna try not to be so repetitive like I do a lot I almost become some kind of like a uh, somebody on the on preaching or something like that I, I have to you know kind of get away from that type of uh, uh, teaching or you know or messaging but I sometimes I just can't help myself you know once the spirit takes over that's it they're gonna do their thing they're gonna they're, they're gonna use me to do their thing and there's nothing I could do about it because once you ask you shall be given so I'm asking you know all the archangels all my family members who have passed over in the other side I ask for your angels that surround you each and every day I've already tuned in I've already meditated and they're here now and they're ready to give you your message and I thank you for letting me do this for you I really appreciate it <laughs> um, so we're gonna go on with the uh, with the messages uh, just you know sit back relax maybe you take a nice deep breath before I go on take a nice deep breath in and hold it for a few seconds and then let it out real slow through your mouth which I'm going to do right now And through that, um, inhaling, sometimes I get, you know, uh, visuals when I'm when I'm doing that. And right now, I just got visuals. I got a visual of like a, um, a, a like you're in a place, like somewhere there's like a lot of uh, people. There's like traffic. I see a whole bunch of traffic lights. I hear, I hear horns blowing. I see people like doing different things. Like some people are doing maybe acting a little off or something like that and then but you have to kind of like just that's something within them or something I'm picking up um, it's definitely like a city area I see a lot of taxi cabs I see um, I just see a lot of different things going on around you around like just going on around you and I see real tall tall like you look up high as you can and there's you can see the top of buildings and things like that that's what I'm looking at that's what I just saw had a visual of okay so let's go on with the reading and what I'm going to do for right now I'm, I'm going to look a little bit into your past and in your past it's showing me that there was some some envy I don't I'm not feeling that it was coming from you I'm feeling that this was coming from someone around you it could have been a family member it could have been a friend it could have been a woman uh, relationship uh, maybe a friendship relationship only you know this I'm just going to tell you whatever the gods tell me through these cards and it does say you know envy in the in your past there was some kind of envy somebody jealous or somebody was not on your side they wasn't in your corner for some reason but it seemed like to me that you you really cared about this person actually loved this person from your heart whoever this is this person but it was betrayal there was some type of be betrayal from this person from you in your recent past I'm going to go back to maybe a year to two years maybe three years has passed already from this situation um, it, it, and it all that's all that they're telling me about as far as your past the major situation that that really bothered you from the past is somebody who had envy or jealousy or something against you for no reason at all it's like not there's nothing that you've done to them it was just maybe a situation or something or something that you had that they wish that they had it was maybe their immaturity maybe they were immature about ways maybe they had different a uh, different way of, of growing up you know they they maybe see and done things differently the way they grew up is what I'm picking up on okay and now I'm going to give you two angel card readings that they want you to focus on um, and pay attention to throughout your reading and the first card that came out like I say I always pre shuffle um, after I do the meditation because that's where I can bring in the energy this is the energy I'm getting like from the past this is some past energy with some envy here uh, deceit maybe some um, backstabbing something went on like I said in the past and this is 
may be still lingering on in your energy or maybe from time to time it would come across because it was something tragic or something uh, uh, very hurtful in your past like I said going two to three maybe four years going back here maybe even a little bit sooner but that's what the gods are telling me now only you would know that so I'm going to put this this up and um, the two cards that I pulled, the two angel cards, which are your angel protection, is what they want you to do for the time being, starting now um, until whenever, basically, is to meditate. Your angels, see that angel, little angel there, she's coming out. And this is the angels that are coming to me on your side, on your end. When I read the Envy the envy card that came from um, the the high angels, the archangels like Michael, Raphael, um, the highest angels. This, this is something that they brought up from your past to to bring to me to your attention, um, and they want you to meditate um, on YouTube. You can get a lot of meditation videos for free. The ones that I watch a lot are is Paul Sand. Teeny. I will put it in the description box for you, and all you have to do is type it in YouTube in the search engine, and they'll bring up all his videos. He's really, really good. He's very uh, therapeutic with uh, meditation. His meditations are very, very powerful. Um, I do believe he works with the spirit guides who guides him to guide us in, through meditation. So I will put that in the description below so you can know where to go to on YouTube to start your meditation. You have to do this. It's one of your. This is your side of the angel guide that's whispering to me to say this. You need meditation. And um, because of this situation with the envy card, whatever that has to do with your past is lingering on in your subconscious mind. It's not really lingering on, you know, where it's causing any mess or anything like that, but it, from time to time it kind of bothers you. So they know that you need to forgive. And through meditation, you will forgive. This has to be let go. It's some type of energy that needs to, to be let go of for for, na for now and for good. Is This energy needs to be released from you because from time, time to time it can bother you. Time to time it can pop up. This person you might even see from time to time. You know, we'll see as we go along with the reading. But, you know, do your meditation. Start meditation. And, and, and. The forgiveness will come in on its own. As you meditate, your angels start working for you. Um, that's what I try to tell people. You know, you have to believe. You have to be spiritual. You have to to know what's going on in the spiritual realm so they can help you. I mean, they're just like, you know, our creator. Our creator doesn't judge us. Our creator doesn't, um, you know, tell us what to do. Um they just guide us basically they guide us through the way we feel our feelings um how you you know the energy around you which you can feel energy everybody can feel energy around you, you just have to be in tune and when you get in tune that means your mind body and spirit are all working together as one uh, we can get scattered if we um try to go outside of ourselves for something we get scattered brain we get mind your mind's over here your body is here and your my, spirit is somewhere else and you're not all you're not working together as a whole as a piece you know like um like they say the father son and the holy ghost same thing applies to us but we have to be aware of what we're doing and we have to meditate in order to stay calm cool and all and we have to stay in the middle in the middle is where there's no conflict. In the middle is where there's where love, real love resides. In the middle is where your happiness, joy, and love, and uh, peace, and everything that you want in life, that's where it resides, in the middle. It's not on the outside where you're circling around trying to find things on the outside of yourself. It's within. Everything starts from within where your spirit lies, where God lies in your heart. And all you have to do is ask him to come in. And you do your meditations and your angels will take over from it. It's like you're giving them permission to help you. And that's all they're waiting for. The angels are like, come on now, please, you know, please, I want to help you. I want to do something for you. But they can't do it without your permission. That's how much God loves us. That's how much the 
most high God loves us, that he just gives us free will. Yes, there's consequences that we suffer if we take the wrong path or do something wrong, but there's good consequences too if you do the right thing and go down the right path. So to do that, you have to listen to your messages, you have to meditate, you have to let you have to get out of your own way and let this life just live its life through you and take its course because it's going to be a good course because you're not all in control it's the control thing that really that gets us okay so with that being said I'm going to um, I did shuffle these cards already so I just need to go ahead I'm just going to give you a little glimpse into some of the past issues maybe something in your maybe current past something that happened maybe in your current past we're going to look at here so um let me see looks like some of these were turned wrong excuse me for a moment um when i shuffled some of them came out um the wrong way so I have to turn them back around and it doesn't affect the shuffle at all because the spirit, once the spirit has something to do with this, it all comes out the way it's supposed to come out anyway. Um, okay. And what I'll do is just do a couple of shuffles any anyway. Like I said, whatever's going to come out is going to come out through spirit anyway. So it doesn't matter. So I had to shuffle... Um, um, some of these cards especially with the longer edition which where I'm going to just give you a, a preview of, of what's going on now so sometimes I, sh I shuffle before I even get on line because it takes a lot of time and I have quite a few decks to go through first thing I'm seeing is the king of swords okay the, this king of swords it represents an air sign like an Aquarius um, Libra or a um, Gemini person uh, this this person um, if it's not a person that you recognize as the signs that I just mentioned then it's the energy behind it and the energy behind the swords is um, mental um, like there's a lot of thinking or maybe there's a lot going on in your head maybe you're strategy strategizing something maybe you're thinking about something and or and you may be making a plan about something in your life because if you see there, he's playing. Chess is a serious game. You have to really be focused. So this is a card of you know actually you know using your mind, your your mind power, um, to overcome whatever situation that you may be going through or have went through already in your life. You actually use strategy. Um, you actually use discernment because um, um, angel guides are telling me that you have the power of discernment. That means like feeling people out you can feel people out and kind of can read them before they even open their mouth you know that's basically what they're telling me like you have the power of discernment and and that's a good thing to have a lot of people don't have that they don't pay attention this is a card of, of, of a, a person that's very focused um, they think before they act um, they look at a situation from head to toe. They kind of examine everything. Like you can see him sitting there just, you know, focusing on his next move. You know, what's my next move going to be? There's no hurry about. He's not hurrying up. Um, he's someone, um, um, this also could be someone as, um, um, could be like a, a lawyer or a lawyer or an attorney or a private detective somebody of that nature that thinks that have to think and be sharp on their toes this person thinks a lot and they, they're sharp on their toes they can make things happen it's almost like the magician so whoever this is it could be male or female because it is general and I don't know you or, you know things like that this could be male or female like I said of the air qualities they have the air qualities they also if, the, if they're any sign that you know of Aquarius Libra or Gemini person, if they're not anybody that you are uh, uh, through those three signs, this could be a person that may um, have th uh, their, this type of sign in their natal chart. That means they could be on the cusp of this um, air sign person here. Or this could represent you using your mind um, 
in everything about just about everything that you do. You're very str- strategic. Um, you think before you make a move. Sometimes you think long and hard before you make a move because you want to make the right moves. Um, and when you play, you play to win. You know, you're you're like a winner. You don't like to lose at anything that you try to go after or strive to get. When it comes to um, the energy of the swords, um, um, you come in fast. I mean, you can just move very swiftly. But when it comes to dealing with people, you, you that's when you slow it down and you start thinking and you use your discernment and you m- use your discernment so you can make the right move. Very strategic person. You're very you're in your head a lot, uh, thinking a lot always analyzing things um sometimes you can over analyze so be careful when it comes to this this um this person which is the the king of swords you know um uh very always stay very well dressed uh they love materialistic things which there's nothing wrong with that but just be careful and don't make it your life you know like oh i have to look this certain way or I have to buy this certain thing or I have to do this certain thing um, and make it like it's your life you know we don't want you don't want to get like that there's nothing wrong with having nice things but you know stay humble stay humble with those things that you get if you you know like nice things just people can tell they can see they got eyes they can see what you have and and it takes hard work to get those type of things depending on what you do it takes hard work to get those things so it shows for itself nobody needs to say nothing if anybody say anything let them say it but this is a strategic person this is a person that uh, is like high in rank they use their mind a lot they think a lot before they make a move uh... they're very strategic um, and sometimes this person can be manipulative to a certain extent, not to do anything wrong to anybody, but manipulative to in order to win. That's what I mean when I say that. So that's the first card coming up. And now we're looking at the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is maybe a middle-aged person. And when I say the king, the king is a lot older than the knight. Okay, and this is the uh, the sign of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, which could be a Taurus, um, a, a, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, they're very laid back. If you can see how this guy is, he's laid back. Um, they they govern money. Pentacles is about money. Okay, so they they're an Earth sign that governs money. That is their that's their thing. You know, they're really good with money. They could be somebody that is an advisor, you know, could advise you about uh, how you invest your money. Um, They could be somebody that you can come to to receive money. They could be like the head of a, they could be a banker. Um, They could be a um, um, tax uh, consultant. Anything that has to do with money, this this is the the go to guy right here, um, and um, they they're very humbled. They humbled. They're very grounded because of them being an earth sign. They're very grounded. So whoever this person that's around you is a good person, uh, a good friend, a good relative, a good somebody in your life. Um, that you can always go to rely on and if there's any money problem situations this is this guy can get you out of it man we'll look at it as a male or a female it just depends on how it fits on, on you as I'm talking about it and you're receiving the messages this is a good person to have by your side they think a lot just like how you do <laughs> but if you know I'm saying this is you you know, as far as the energies are concerned, or somebody around you. If these are two people here, um, you got two good people by your side. If it, if this is not you in the energy, this could be you in the energy too, or somebody that maybe uh, has this, that sign um, of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, they they could have their that in their natal chart. But this person is very laid back. And I'm going to tell you, they kind of slow to move. You can't rush them, you know, because they, they, they think a lot, too. Uh, these earth signs, they, they're all in their head, too. And that could be sometimes a clash between 
the two if you're in a relationship or a friendship with this person it can kind of clash in a way because you're both <laughs> you're both a lot in your head and always you know it could be a little competitive thing going on here with this person it could be a friend of yours but they're reliable they're good to talk to because you're both strategic in the mind but this one kind of think they know everything when you're dealing with the earth sign they kind of could come across like they know it all you can't tell them they know everything they don't have they're not as open-minded as an air sign is an air sign is very open-minded um they go against the grain that means they don't follow the crowd they they kind of when it, if the crowd is going this way an air sign will will take another route they take their their, their leaders their their leaders of themselves and whoever wants to jump on board with them they will take them under their wing and and take them on they're more open-minded than a uh earth sign would be so that's where the clash could take effect but they two pe there are two people that can work together really well okay and what i'm seeing now here is the seven of swords which is never to me a good card because it's showing something of uh someone may be uh, deceiving you threatening you they could be trying to take something from you this is the liar cheater thief i call card you know and my angel guys are telling me this is like a, a thief in a night and like somebody could come in they come in when they want to come in they get what they want and then they're gone uh, this could be in a relationship issue or it could be in a friendship issue um, being that is the swords we're back again with these this this sign of an a, a air sign an Aquarius uh, Libra or uh, Aquarius Libra or um, Gemini so we're back at this with either you knowing a person of that sign or they had the had that in their natal chart or it could be where it is a, a person of the, with this sign um, and this person right here a friend or relative or whatever is looking at this person and they see what they're doing they're seeing what they're doing behind your back or think that they're doing something behind your back and this is like I said maybe a little bit in the past here that we're talking about still this person is trying to get away with something of yours that's something that belongs to you um, they come in and they sneak out They're they're sneaky um, they're doing sneaky things behind your back um, if, if it's a relationship issue it could have been where somebody was cheating on you um, and, um, and and thinking that they were getting away with it you see those swords that they have in their hand there it's like um, it's like they're just taking something and they're you know they're jumping out the window that's like somebody that's coming in just stealing I call it the liar cheater thief card that's what I call this and this is just may as well has took taken place in your life some some at some point of time and this person this smart here this guy right here is looking at them he's looking at him he got his number he may be he may be the one that was telling you about him and maybe telling you advising you what you need to do to watch out for him or something like this but you got a major arcana card here when I say major this is the ace of uh, the ace of wands or rods and when we're talking about the energies if we're talking about inner any type of energy this is of some fast movement it has something to do with work their energy around work where you're moving forward really really fast um, where good things are coming this could be an advancement a job a job advancement um, it could be entrepreneurship where you're doing something on your own or getting something up on your own um, it could be moving from the negative to the positive uh, it could be moving from your past into your future um, and doing it doing it very well because this is the ace this is the top card here it's a major arcana card so it's something that definitely definitely happened or is going to happen you're going to move forward from it like I said this could be a relationship or a friendship person that you found out about them trying to steal or take something away from you and you've moved on you move forward from that very fast you move from it and it's a positive card to have you moved away from that 
that particular person because like I said you there may be a, been a friendship here who was watching everything that was going on and told you about it and you may have you know started a plan on how you were going to get that person away from your life so you just move forward on your own moving forward happily too look at that and you're um you're on a um um a pole who does that and they're not even looking down that that's a whatever move you made here was a very good move it was a strategic move and it was very smart of you so you're moving forward the, if you look up in the sky it's all yellow when I see a lot of yellow that means positive you know like you're, you're moving forward to positive things um, thinking positive uh, action actually just moving you're taking action you're not just standing there you're moving forward you're getting you're moving from a, a, a place of negativity into positivity from what it shows me from this person who lied, steal, cheated, done something to you. And I'm going to go back to what this saying too with the meditation. And this person you may need to forgive because you may still have that on your mind, whatever they've done to you. And it was all out of envy, okay? You, did, you didn't know it, though. This person was secretly ha was envying you, okay? So I'm going to look at another card here is where you're using your skills this is the uh the three of pentacles when pentacles we're still talking about an earth sign there's a there, there's an earth sign friend here that you're involved with or something or in a friendship with they, they still hanging around and they're um they're actually building a foundation is something that was have been started and it's going to and you're going back to finish it and this earth sign may be helping you having some kind of help for you maybe offering you something to help you finish something that you started but you know this came along this cheater liar cheater thief it could have been a it could have been somebody who was um a friend of yours and maybe was helping out would come to find out they were stealing from you so you know you had to start all over again and this person here which is still the same I'm looking at because they're, they're pentacles pentacles is an earth sign you know with the um earth uh taurus capricorn or virgo person um coming in helping you uh to, to help you finish what you started so that's a good card to have also which is the three of pentacles okay um and the next card i'm pulling is something here which is the eight of rods and that's like i said that's like the energy of movement energy of communication communication anything that 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 moves uh, and this is some fast quick energy right here and it's uh, a messenger you know we're talking about the the eight of rods which is it is a messenger or it could mean um, there is some kind of situation um, that you're going to hear about via text via mail via telephone call any type of communication out there that there is you're getting ready to hear and it is of good news so this is a message of some good news that have or have already or will be coming to you some kind of way some kind of message something that you wanted to hear something good uh, message is coming out to, to you okay so that's really good and it's coming under the um, under the guy that uh, that thinks strategically so this is a good message that's coming to you and it is good because look at what you got here you got the uh, six of rods this is a card of victory and it's got something to do with work I keep saying with the rods uh, or, or wands whichever you want to call it it always has something to do with quick movement uh, advancement like moving forward going forward with things um, accomplishing things through work because that's what the wands do is all about working and moving and 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 and, and uh, progression a progression uh, of fighting for something to win this is a card of being vic vic uh, victorious over something uh, whatever it is is from this communication that came into you you know this word came into you or something that um, happened or will be happening 
that communication was good communication because if you look right next to it, it's this, the victory card. And you see there's people behind you that are with you on this, whatever this is work-wise. Maybe you, like I said, maybe it's an advancement. Maybe it's entrepreneurship, something that you want to get off on the ground on your own. And it, and it actually is working in your favor because there's people in the background that's applauding you too for this. Uh, it could be a, um, a job that you're at that you moved up into a different, a higher position that pays you more money and you've gotten congratulations. Maybe there's something that you did uh, on the job that caused them to um, give you some kind of award. It could have been an award or, you know, something of that nature where you were uh, noticed, being noticed for your hard work, uh, for whatever uh, abilities that you have, craftsmanship, whatever that is, it gave you, um, they were giving you, um, um, you know, pats on the back, and you know, every there's a lot of people that was behind you, and you know, um, giving you your props. Let's put it that way. They're giving you, and you got your hand up, like, yay! You know, I won. I was victorious over this situation. You know, I moved forward. I moved away from the negative to the positive, and I started, and I just started all over again, and it worked all in my favor. It could have been starting a new job. You may have gotten a new job paying more money. There's just several different ways we can go here, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? But this is what the guides are telling me. And uh, the next card we have is the Six of Pentacles. You're getting a lot of money cards in your reading. A lot of money cards in your reading. Are you, you, you hustling? You hustling? You making that money? You making enough money so you can even help someone? This is like the card of, of giving you know giving of what you receive you know maybe helping people out that needs help um, uh, you may be part of an org organization or something that where you know you give up you give of some of your salary to people in need uh, needy or uh, it could be vice versa where you were in need maybe you were vic maybe that's what the victorious thing is about you know maybe there was a loan that you put out for and you got it you know, to start something that you had to go back and finish. You know, so this is a this is a good card to have in your reading. Also, along you know, with the victorious card, with being victorious, hearing this good news and all that. I'm seeing a lot of yellow, which I love. That makes me feel good when I see this yellow. If you, the only dark thing I'm looking at right now was this person, whoever this was, being de deceptive. Everything else is like you just moving forward. You're moving forward, and you you know you're getting whatever your your need in your you're getting what you need as you're moving forward. Okay, so that is a, a pentacle card. Also heavily, you're getting a lot of uh, pentacle cards here, and this is this is major again a major arcana card here where it's the world. It's like. This is what this is, is telling me, your guides are saying. Whatever you go, set out to achieve, you're going to win. Whatever you started out right here at the bottom, it, it, you planted seeds and it grew and grew and grew. Or it's going to grow and grow and grow to this big, something big here. Because this is the ace, uh, this is the world card. The world is at your hands or the world is going to be at your hands because everything is moving in your favor just because of this, basically, this major arcana card, where you you walked away from the past or something, you walked away from something that wasn't meant for you, and you moved forward into, as soon as you started moving forward, that's when your angel guides and uh, the most high God start working in your favor, because this is all showing things working in your favor. You got the world card here is major. And when I mean, when I say something, when I say something about a major, it means it's something that's going to happen or already has happened or is going to work into your favor whether you want it to or not. And this is just a positive card to have in your reading. You got several positive cards in your reading here that's really, you know, touching my heart because it shows that you're a good person, you're a hard worker because you're getting wands and pentacles, which mean money and movement. Like you stay on the move, you stay on top of things, and whatever this is that you started grows to be something 
good because it's, it started here's where it started at from the ground roots this is the root of the what you started and it grew to be something look see the on top of there where that that's the world they're telling you this is the world it all everything panned out the way it was supposed to everything that you wanted to happen has happened the world is yours right now <laughs> And I'm so proud of you. And I don't even know you, but I'm proud of you. You have the world in your hands. Um, at one time you may um, have felt like it was um, uh, too much on your shoulders. You, 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 you kind of maybe went into a little anxiety um, and, and, or somebody around you, maybe a partner or something, may have felt like it was too much. You, you had too much on your shoulders. Maybe you were taking on too much responsibility, and you felt like um, the walls were caving in on you. Um, this is a rod, uh, which, like I said, uh, you know, working. Maybe you were working extra, extra hard. Maybe you were putting in a lot of overtime. Maybe you were doing. But that's what got you this this right here, this victory here, though. That's what got you there. But, you know, and got you the world card, a major card here, and, and all this money that's floating around you, you know, but it kind of it kind of tired you out in a way, or maybe it kind of got you a little, um, like I said, anxiety, maybe anxieties, or maybe you felt like you took on too much. Um, or too much responsibility was put on you but it worked out in your favor anyway even though it was a, a lot of responsibility it was a big responsibility it was a lot a big load on your shoulders and yeah you were feeling it you were feeling it but you accomplished something through it okay even though if you know you felt like everything was like closing in on you you felt like it was too much um or maybe you felt like you were doing too much or maybe you did do too much and then you know maybe anxieties came in maybe you needed a rest maybe you needed to stop for a while and rest maybe something could have happened um excuse me maybe something could have happened to you um to where you needed to stop and take a rest or, or take a breather or something like that is what I'm picking up from your angels because if you look at this card it's like the, the the clouds are up here and these are this is all the responsibility that you had on your shoulders that you were that you were taking on yourself and this is you here or it could have been somebody around you it doesn't necessarily have to be you um because this this could represent somebody else uh, of a fire sign. Well, it's you because it's an Aries, Sagittarius, or Le uh, Leo. So that's you carrying all this responsibility, and you may have fallen sick or something behind it. But you achieved a lot for it, also. Okay. And now I'm looking at the Four of Cups. With you being in a situation, I think we're moving up a little bit to the present right now. Okay, we're moving up a little bit to the to the present here, coming forward, maybe now in coming into the now. I'm feeling like this right here uh, is a situation where you're being served up by uh, maybe an individual, maybe it was a relationship issue maybe it was a friendship issue where you know if you look at this really close there's three women here but actually those three women are the same person but what it's representing is this is you okay and um this is a cup card so it isn't a, a, a it could be the bringing on the energies of emotions like your emotional being it could be where you were being taken care of and you didn't like it you didn't like being being taken care of or you were restricted in some kind of way and you didn't like it but you it was something that had to be done maybe it was for health reasons uh, um, as you can see on your face you know here that you're very disgusted <laughs> You know, it's like you're very disgusted. It's like, you know, look, I don't need, I don't want all this, you doing all this, do all this stuff, you know, 
but it, it it was like maybe maybe you were in the hospital you know maybe it was something that you know because of this because i'm looking at this and your angel guides are telling me something maybe something happened to you maybe an accident maybe something of that nature and it put you to where you needed to have some help and these people were helping you you didn't really like it because you're like a out and about type person you like to be out and about doing something this set you back just a little bit not much but you're not you wasn't really pleased with that um, also again we're coming up with the four of pentacles where there's somebody or something family friends relatives something somebody around you uh, again comes up as being very greedy uh, trying to take things from you trying to strip you of your reputation I'm getting trying to somebody's jealous somebody's trying to get you to be on their you know to do whatever they say do and you have no say so in it um, it could be like I said it could be in a relationship where there you relate there's somebody you're involved with that uh, that uh, always take 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 but there's never no giving back in return it's not like it seems like it's un in balance because if you can look how that person there and it's a pentacle again it comes up as we did up front here this and it's falling right up underneath of it too the liar cheater thief card where there's somebody around you or was around you that really tried to get over on you they were trying to get over on you this come up twice liar cheater thief it could and it could be in a relationship you know it could have been a man or a male or a female but whoever this person was did not care about nobody but their self they were very selfish there's other people that was involved when it come to money but this person didn't care whether this these people were left out in the cold or not they didn't care all they cared about was themselves they were very selfish very controlling and always wanted things to go their way if it didn't go their way darn it they was going to try to sneak and get it and get away with it this is a sneaky card like how this other one came up and it's with the same type of person here that we're looking at it's, it's, it's the same person but this has to do with money money this person is trying to get anything and everything from you that they can and don't care about anybody else and with the seven of cups is leaving you I don't know if this like I said this could be coming into flourishing flourishing now or was part still of maybe the past but it's showing you um, uh, very emotional about the situation once you found out maybe something you found out about somebody doing something to you and the envy card as we were talking about somebody been jealous of you all the while and 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 all they does all they done in, in around when they're around you is try to take 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 never no giving back never no appreciation they didn't care about nobody but their self and they just took and took and took and it's made you um very emotional you were on an emotional roller coaster ride here for a minute um uh my guides are telling me that maybe there was a lot of opportunities in front of you and you were getting confused um, maybe you were giving giving too much and things were out of balance um, maybe you were dealing with somebody who had a drug problem a drinking problem pills whatever it may be in that nature I'm just giving different scenarios because um, like I said I'm not you know really talking to you back and forth I'm just putting out the messages that I'm getting when I see these cards and what the angels are telling me so uh, it was a burden on you there was some type of burden on you here um, that was bringing you down some it was bringing you down not making you feeling the best of the best because of uh, over responsibility overdoing it somebody was kind of overdoing it they were stepping over their boundaries there was a lot of, of offerings here and um, maybe you had to make a choice maybe you were confused and you had to make a choice on what to do in this situation with somebody that's trying to uh, that were very greedy or you know come across as wanting it all 
oh i just got it all oh you got it all and i just want it all type of situations what i'm picking up here with this person very confused uh very emotional it could have been a, a water sign or something that you was dealing with or something like that um but this brought on uh some emotions some heavy emotions of confusion not knowing which way to go uh not knowing what to choose uh, in this situation and I'm taking it like I said family member maybe a relationship issue coming up here with when it comes to this because when you get in the seven of cups there's just a lot of options and there's a lot of things going on and you have to be careful on what you choose because if you don't choose the right cup here all these cups you know there's a nine of cups and, and you know it's cups of emotion Cups also uh, stands for a water sign. You may have the uh, element of that, which is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, um, or the energy of that with the emotions, because Cups is a water. We're you know we're like seventy percent water in 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 us and every one of us. And once those emotions fly high like this, this is a highly charged emotional card. Is where it's like there's decisions to be made because of what's going on here this this theft or somebody's trying to take something from you or somebody's wanting it all and there's no balance and you have to make choice you have to make a choice here you have to be careful of the choice that you make also going forward and like i said i believe it has something to do with a lover because we got the two of cups here somebody that you may care about somebody you may have been in a relationship with could be now or could have been or it could you know could be uh in effect and as i said um this person is falling right behind the seven of cups falling right underneath the liar cheater thief uh card falling under the i'm gonna get away with this i'm gonna get away with that type of card and is showing also showing you not being satisfied within the relationship because of the way things are going but you're emotionally involved you're uh, attached um, your emotions emotionally wise you're attached to this person because you may have been this may have been going on for a long time um, but whoever this is is just out to get what they want and care nothing about you you as a person like i said this could have been the recent past still um with the page pages always bring news as i showed you the first time there was some good news there's some more good news this time this is some news you're waiting on there's something you're waiting to hear something about um some kind of message it could come in text it could come in um in the mail it could come in um via email uh, anyway there's t some type of communication you're going to you're waiting to hear some news you're waiting for this news to come in and, and you know what the news is but you're just waiting for it and it's regarding a relationship because you got the two of cups here which is two people that are emotionally attached to each other and then you get the uh, the lovers so it's regarding a relationship it could be two different people you know you may have to you know you may have to choose between two people here uh and if it's if it's a situation like that i'm picking up that it may be they both may have the same type of traits um they're out for their self very selfish if you don't be careful about what you choose because you have lots of uh offers here <laughs> You know, you have plenty of offers on the table here when it comes to relationships. But you have to be careful who you choose because, you know, uh, so far I'm seeing somebody or whoever there is at the offering table, they don't have nothing to bring to the table, okay? But it's an opportunity for love. It's, it's like you have plenty of opportunities out there for you to, but be careful of who you choose in this opportunity when it comes to love okay so i'm done that part <laughs> and that was pretty good not bad at all pretty good pretty good okay and all that was about majorly a major saying you know like is crossing this is crossing you're at the crossroads or something about choosing something 
excuse me, sometimes when you talk a lot, oh, you got to get something to, um, get something to drink. Okay, now, I'm, what I'm going to do now is um, show you maybe get your crossing, maybe something that you need to overcome in this situation. And the first card I chose was you need to open up. You got to open up. You got to come out of your shell and open up and you have to speak up to what, who, whatever this is going on, whether it's a relationship issue or a relative issue or some kind of issue going on here with this with money with this money business type situation with this person being greedy with somebody's trying to pull a wool over your eye or something of that nature it's time for you to stand up for yourself you need to open up and you need to tell them exactly how you feel because if you just sit there and let them run over top of you that's exactly what they're going to do it's time to open up and it's time to lay down the law baby because you, you're not railroad tracks. You're not put here to be run over top of and making your, you know, trying to somebody making you look like a fool or something like that because you're not. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You have discernment, but it seems like there's somebody just wants to have control, total control over you and your life. So they want you to open up. Open up. Open up. It's time to open up and let it out because it's all about love. It's, it's got to do with a love situation here. And if you don't open up about this situation and get things right with this person and let them know, the love may not be there. Not from your behalf, but for their behalf. But for your behalf, you have to open up about it and let them know. And, and either they stay or they go. Either love's going to stay or go. But you have to be open about to this person about balance there has to be balance in a relationship there has to be give and take you can't be the only one giving 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 and they're just taking 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 you're going to have to stand up for yourself and let them know you know hey bring on the ground rules there got to be some ground rules set here honey because you're just not going to walk over top of me like that it just can't happen okay now what i'm going to do for you is um I'm going to pull two life purpose cards for you. Let me see what they have to say. And these I'm going to have to shuffle. Like I said, you have, you know, you got plenty of options out there. It's not like, you know, like um, <laughs> you have to stay with that person because you're a very nice looking man. And on top of that, it looks like you got yourself together work wise and things like of that nature but you know you don't have to be bound to somebody that don't appreciate you maybe there is you know love there maybe there's a little bit on their part but it looks like to me like they're very selfish it's, this kind of sounds like a relationship or or a family relationship issue something that's close to your heart something close to your heart and it's bothering you it, it really is you don't it's, it's kind of like you don't know what to do like you're 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 at a standstill almost like you don't know what to do and like i said it could be the lovers as a relationship or it could just be a lover as a friend you know friendship or family love some kind of love there but you 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 just don't know which 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 path to take what what you're supposed to do but you that's when meditation remember the meditation card came up you're going to have to meditate over this. You're going to have to learn to meditate. And like I said, I'm going to put something in the description to give you some help on that, okay, with your, with your meditation. Now, I'm going to pull two cards from this deck of, uh, of your purpose. You know, what's your purpose? What is his purpose? What is his purpose here in this situation? And these are oracle cards that I'm reading from, angel oracle cards. And, and they're saying, give us your cares. <laughs> Look at there. Yeah, it, that's meditation. You're giving your cares up to, your, to your, your, your most high God, your creator, and your angels. Just give it up and let them, like I said, give it up and turn it loose, baby. And, and do your meditations and, and just let get out of your own way. That's how you're going to make it through this situation is getting out of your own way, letting your angel gods take care of it for you. And that's going to be through meditation. And they want you to say, "Is dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing, I am willing to release and uh, any fears to you 
please allow me to completely let go so that you can um, fully guide me in this situation that's what that's maybe could be an affirmation for you see it up I hope you can see it okay they want you to let go of this situation and let God that's all they're saying whatever it is that's bothering you whatever it is that, that's in the way whatever it is that you know your heart is is, 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 is um, struggling to make a decision about when it comes to either family or relationship wise that's what I'm picking up you need to let it go and let your angel gods do it let me read this for you one more one more time it says dear dear God and Archangel Raphael so Archangel Raphael is in the picture he's your guide he's the one that cares for you he's the one that see these things and giving them to me I'm willing to release any fears to you please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation that's very important message for you because if we go all the way back to the beginning where there's meditation needed for this so you can get out of your own way and so forgiveness can take place also for whatever went on in the past that still kind of hinders you from this person that was very envious okay this is very important let go and let God and the next one is saying um, alternate medicine um, this is for um, they want you to again Archangel Raphael again is in the picture he's the healer he's the informer and he's the healer okay thank you for God he wants you I guess you this is something that you're gonna go through and he's thanking you thank you for guiding me um, to the um, ideal healing treatment whatever it is physically they're talking about something physically going on here thank you for you know this is that that's them healing you this is the, your angel Raphael healing you through your meditation total healment I mean just healing you totally and this is just a thank you this is you, you thanking your guiding angels you know for for help healing you through alternate some 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 type of alter alternative medicine and alternative medicine is your guides they can heal they can heal you all you do is have to get out your own way and let them remember to meditate meditate ask them to step in and, and heal you completely from whatever this is physically this this is something physical okay Whew, that's a lot <laughs> okay did, I did your energy already okay now what I'm going to do is going I'm going to read the um, the enchanted map this is the enchanted map oracle cards okay I'm gonna pull two cards from here and like I said this is gonna be something that you always rewind and you know go through it again I hope the story that I'm saying after I said you know my prayers and um, meditated over that um, this is what um, the solutions that you were looking for maybe the answers that you were looking for maybe it gave you some clarity of what you've been looking for or searching for Okay, I'm just going to shuffle these really good. This is going to help give you some um, some ideas and maybe some more direction and more clarity. Just a few moments. I'm sorry for the... just want to make sure I shuffle them up really well for you. Mr. Edward. <laughs> and I'm going to draw two cards from here. Shuffle them up really well. Okay. Okay, so the first card, this, this flew out and it flew out right side up so it's the number 20 it, it's like it's it's time for you to fly it's like <laughs> it's like you've given up um, taking the advice of what your guides are saying and like just gonna give up just get yourself out of your own way and you're going to fly 
you're going to feel free. It's like you're going to feel like you can fly in the air. That's how free you're going to be. You know, it's time to let go of a certain situation. It's time for you to take those wings and just fly away and do your thing um, and feel really good about it. You're going to feel like you're flying um, once you just turn this thing, turn, turn it loose, just let it go, and so and, and you'll be able to fly, you know, fly um, with promises, with, prom- with your angels giving you promises that, you know, when you fly and take off, they're going to be right behind you. They're going to be right there for you. If you notice in the uh, the colors, the colors are of a rainbow. And if you know what a rainbow stands for, it means like a promise, like there was a a sacrifice, like, you know, the Most High sacrificed something saying, you know, by giving us, showing us that color of the rainbow. And the rainbow means that he would never flood the world again, or the world would never be flooded by water or anything like that. He made it. And that's what the rainbow, and that's what they're trying to tell you. They're promising you, if you, you know, follow your angel guides and what they want you to do, they promise you, you know, by the colors of the rainbow that you will be flying. They're going to be flying with you. They're going to be taken off with you. You're going to be taken off. You're going to be launched into something really, really powerful, really, really, something really good. You're just going to be flying, and your angel guides promises you that you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. Um, and the next card is saying uh, the goblin. So, you know, you got to, you. It, this is something that you have to do, or these people, or this person that is maybe codependent. I'm picking up. They're saying codependency, um, again, selfish needs, selfish wants. Um, you can't depend on them. They, they're not reliable. You have to do it all. You have to fly. You're going to have to fly away from this situation. And that's why they're, they're, they're promising you if you do, you will be flying. And, and they will have your back. And there's nothing and nobody, not even the goblins, can hold you back. Because this has been going on for a while here, and now it's time for it's, it's clarity time now, and you're getting your clarity that you need. You need to fly away from this, Wh- whoever this person or these people are that are, are jealous or, or 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 just selfish and um, always needing something, always putting a load on you to take care of everything and to do everything. It's time for you to get away from that and it's time for you to fly. And with the colors of the rainbows and the color of that horse, that's you. They promise you. They promising you that you're going to be okay if you just let it go. It's time to let it go. Get away from the goblins. They mean you no good. No good. Okay? Now, let me do some Ascended Masters cards. They're angel cards also, the Ascended Masters. So let me just um, shuffle these up real good. Told you it's going to be a long one. <laughs> well, I hope it's not too long. Okay, let me just shuffle these up really good. Give you some more spiritual advice. Make sure we get this energy right here for you. Because it's not really bad. It's just something that you have to get away from. Something around you. There's some negativity or something around you. Uh, and you're a real good person. But this, uh, this, there's somebody just like just codependent. They're very codependent. They're very selfish, and they're, they will take and rob and take from you and take from you, and they will never give you nothing in return. And I'm feeling this either this could be a family situation or a romantic situation. We'll see. Okay, let me give me this one more round. And then I'll be pulling two cards from here. Okay. Okay, the first card I pulled out is clear and shield your energy. Angels just keep they keep um they they keep confirming everything that we said throughout the whole re- you know, the whole uh reading here. You have to clear your energy, you have to keep your energy clear so you can you know overcome whatever this thing that you may be stuck in right now. 
um, clear your energy and when you clear your energy what is that meditation again it's through meditation uh, and as you clear your energy and as you clear that negativity out, out from, that's around you you, br- you bring on your twin flame you know you bring on your twin flame which means it's somebody that you can um, uh, you can relate to more or less than somebody that's just um, going to take you for everything and take 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 um, if you don't open up and tell them how you feel about this relationship issue or whatever it may be relative issue it just depends you only know that it's going to bring on a twin flame uh, someone that is in balance that can put you in balance have you in and feeling a lot better than things you know going just one way all the time this could be a better situation for you okay all right now next I'm going to do the angels the romance because we have to see what this is a romance <laughs> or 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 something here going on okay so let me go ahead and shuffle these for you just one moment Just going to give them a good shuffle. I'm sorry for the silence as we do this, but. Okay, so let me pull two cards out of here. And this one's sticking out, so I'm going to pull that one out. Okay, so this is the Angel Romance cards. And the first one comes up is that is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So all that we talked about today is all about faith and trust. It's all about putting it in the hands of the Most High God and let His angels work through you for you. And everything will come out just fine. All right? And then there's in- engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That comes up in your romance department. Woo. Okay. So that was from that one. Let me see if I got... Okay. Now what I'm going to read to you is um, the Lover's Oracle cards. They are shaped like hearts. And they give some good insight, too, on um, relationships whether it's family or whether it's a partnership it, it, it just all depends on what's going on with you only you'll be able to relate to this you and your angel guys because they're the ones that's going to be picking the cards out they know what you need to hear they know what you need to, uh, uh, to, to go forward from this these are hard to shuffle too because they're shaped like hearts so be patient with me as I shuffle them for the silence in between time I'll make sure I shuffle them up really well and then I'm going to pick from them okay so that one's coming out for me and this one's coming out for me so I'm picking two from this and I'll get these situated later because they're hard to <laughs> put back together okay first card that came out in your angel in the love oracle card reading is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean wow Hmm. that's what your angels are saying to you look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is uh, as deep as the ocean 
or this that you may need to express to somebody else and maybe you're not expressing it this maybe there's some maybe this is a love for yourself maybe this is what they're saying a love for yourself because love for self is when you know like you know you, when you meditate and you let the angel gods and the most high god take over your life and, and lead you to where you need to go this may turn out to be where it's a love for yourself looking deep within your heart because once you meditate you're you're actually you you know you're looking at mind body and spirit and the heart governs all that so this may be you transforming into a deeper love for you and yourself and you know your surroundings um the second card says and this is what it looks like on the outside and um the second card says when you um when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love so you can see what I just said so you know when you go you, you're not taking nothing with you everything else passes it's nothing it doesn't mean nothing and, 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 and you know all that means what it all it really means is the love that's in your heart you know the experiences that you shared in the world with other people so you know this looking deep inside yourself and letting the angel guys work on you and get your heart get your chakras all lined up well and and you have this love for yourself that you're able to use to pass on to others they can like feel they'll feel the love from you and they'll be able to pass that on and um once you pass and you go that love goes with you so experience love you know forgive go back whoever this is you need to forgive and have forgiveness in your heart you know just forgive them just let it go and you know get into meditation so all this can take place with you know you you healing this is nothing but cards of healing for yourself it has nothing to do with a relationship is about healing yourself um, whoever this person was that envied you and you know put you through a lot of pain and heartache um, and then whoever you know for as far as getting yourself together physically healing you you're being healed physically also as well so what else do I have for you let me see I think that's about I think oh one more <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's just one more here and then we're done we're done with your reading and I like to have some feedback on it when you uh, view it after you view it and let me know what you think about the reading did it make sense to you um, <laughs> um, did your angel guides you know talk to you speak to you through me and let you give you some kind of direction or make you feel better about your direction or about life in general about where you're at about where you're going because um, everything else looks good to me money wise advancements money I've seen just a lot of money cards in there I've seen a lot of mental conflict going on with, with someone or about someone I've seen um, something where you may have been got hurt or something like that but you healed or, or the angel gods are healing you uh, you need to be doing your meditation so you for, forgive and live your life fully to the fullest because God has something really good because remember I showed you the world card there's something really really good and powerful coming up for you but you have to get over this stuff from the past I'm feeling like it's past issues something that happened in the past that keeps haunting you and you have to go deep down inside yourself and learn to forgive not only them but yourself too and then you just will be moving on from there the guides promised you that you already seen that flying card that's where they're, they're going to let you fly to the sky and have whatever you want to have and forgive and, and just drop the past drop the whatever that ill feeling that was uh, between you and another person you know just let it go and, and let God take care of that issue and then you're going to be flying he promises you that okay let's see what we got here first card I'm seeing is uh, some gossip there may be some petty gossip going around around you or about you for some strange reason um, 
destiny the destiny card come up where it's going to stop whatever's going on here with this you know pettiness or this little petty stuff like gossiping or somebody jealous or being envy or despiteful uh behind your back it's going to destiny is going to stop it it's going to come to a stop um you are going to be the one to stop it by doing your meditations listening to your angel guides they're going to guide you through everything you're just going to let go and let them do the work you're going to be the one that, that does that it's the destiny it's destiny it's fate uh there is a young male in the picture a young female i'm sorry <laughs> could be a young male could be a young female just depends on you know the situation that's about you know it, it may have something to do with her or him they're, uh, they're calling you the ice king like you're going to really have this you're going to really have it together here i mean mind body and spirit you're going to have it together i mean who stands next to a lion or whatever this thing it looks like a lion or some something and actually it's tamed it's not it's not biting at him i mean you you got your hand on him and this 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 is this is getting things under control this is having your life under complete control here that's what this card is telling you you are going to have con total control of your own life without this this young person or something or another that's causing problems and it is control issues they have control issues you gotta let go of the control either they have control issues or you have control issues that you need to let go of the being in controlling it's got something to do with work okay um it also there's a triangle it could be like i said earlier it could be two people that's involved here you you know you got plenty of options out there as i told you earlier you got plenty of options out there and um it looks like you're you're indulging in those options because there's a there's a triangle going on here a love triangle or three people involved in this situation here three people it could be where it could be where if it's a relationship issue it could be where this woman whoever this young woman is here is as you can look at her you can tell she's flirtatious or something um promiscuous and it's a one woman and two men here so this other woman who if, th if this involves a work situation which it could be um she is the one that's seeing two people here um and it, it, it is it's a past love they're showing it's a past love whatever this situation was a past love um there's going to be opportunity for dating uh it looks like another person may step in here uh, uh, a young a young another person they may be more a little bit more mature or something or maybe a bit more on your level uh after you know and all this will take place after your spiritual growth we're coming back to meditation again spiritual growth has to take place for you to forget all about this past stuff i'm looking at this as all being past because it says so past love all this is over a past a person in the past who's really done some damage here to you and your um your well-being uh you still think about it from time to time it still bothers you so it has to go you have to get into meditation so all this can go and um i'm just going to give you one more thing here which is healing which is your healing cards i'm going to give you two, uh one healing card here i'm going to shuffle it up and that's going to be the end of the reading for you I'm going to shuffle these really good and see what the healing cards have to say. And that's going to bring it to an end. And if you have any questions, you know how to get in contact with me. You know, if there's something you don't understand or something you need more clarification on, get in touch with me. You know how, okay? So let me shuffle these up real good. And let me show you the box so you know they're healing cards, angel healing cards. And I feel like the angels want to express one more thing to you it's time for you to break free it's time for you to take control of your own take back the control of your own life uh to feel free again to feel feel um like the destiny in your life is belongs to you and not no one else it's your life not anybody else's 
and to release the, um, any type of negative energy that you may have experienced from the past and, um, and bring on forgiveness. Forgive yourself, forgive them, and then, you know, the angel guides are saying they're promising you freedom. You're going to be flying high, babe. Whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to be flying high. The world, you're going to feel like you own the world from whatever it is you started, and you're going to finish it with, with and you're going to be really, really good. I think you're crafty. Something with your hands that you do with your hands, I, I really can't pinpoint that you're saying hands. So let's see what the uh, what kind of note that they have for you, and then that will be the end of your reading. I went through like several decks of cards, to, um, so to reassure you that you know most of, you know they all was saying basically the same thing over and over again. It's something that has to do with your past that needs to be released, so you can move forward and be happy. You know whatever it is that's bothering you from situation from the past. And like I said, there's a lot of, op be careful of the opportunities that's out there for you when it comes to uh, relationships because there's a lot of opportunities, but all those opportunities aren't good. You have to really, really, you know, be wise and, and, and kind of pick wisely. Be wise about how you pick this time because you don't want to go through what you went through in the past again. Okay? So I'm going to reach in here and grab one and see what it says for you. Mm. And I'm going to show you the card first. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, before you can heal others, you first have to be heal yourself. And that makes so much sense with what we were talking about throughout this whole reading. Today, be mindful of how often you judge others and rec uh, recognizing why you see others in a negative light. You discover the fears that you need to heal in yourself. So it's time to heal yourself. Time to let go of some things that went on in the past. Um, whether it's family, friends, relatives, re relationship-wise, it's time for all that to heal. It's time for healing time. It's time for meditation. Get into meditation. Um, like I said, I'll send you something either in the description or I'll send it to you via um, uh, your uh, inbox uh, where you can go to start your meditation, how to start it, what to do. And just, you know, turn your life over to the Most High God. Just tell Him you need Him. You can't do without Him. And you need Him in your life. And that's all you have to say. And then just let it go. And let Him take take over your wheel. And He's going he's gonna to lead you into the direction that you need to go in. But you have to take control back of your life. You have to release some, some things. You, and you have to heal yourself before you even can think about helping somebody else. Help yourself first. You need to have the help yourself first before you try to take on somebody else's uh, problems and things like that because um, that's the only way we can do. You know, we have to learn to help ourselves before we're able to help anyone else. So that covers your reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made sense to you, and I hope it was of help to you. So if you need any, have any questions about what uh, the reading that I did, you know how to get in touch with me. And I do appreciate any feedback that you have that, that you have about the reading so I can know that I, you know, done the best of, uh, that I could do in my job through my prayers and meditation just for you. And I really hope you enjoyed that. And I do wish you all the best and all the love and all the the world, the world is going to be yours. All you have to do is just hand over, you know, let your, get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Stop being in your head so much and just let God come together for you, mind, body, and spirit. And everything you see, it's going to work out for you just fine. You, you seen the world card. That's a major arcana card. I mean, you had a lot of major arcana cards here. It's just you have to heal from something from the past. That's all you got to do. And everything else is just going to roll your way. You best believe that. You're going to be on top of the world, brother. Okay, my name is Sandy, a.k.a. Simply Love. Um, I want you to go to YouTube and subscribe to my videos so you can get um, every month you can get I do my readings, you know, uh, each month. Sometimes I throw some other things in there where I'm giving away th free things, you know, jewelry. I give away um, 
you know, just come up with a lot of different things that I do from time to time. And I'd like you to be my friend and go ahead and subscribe, okay? So, okay, so thank you for letting me do this for you. Um, like I said, if there's any questions or anything that you know may, you might have in mind or any type of feedback that you make, I would appreciate you doing that, okay? And uh, I appreciate you so much. And I, like I say to all my uh, family and friends, I love you. I care about you. And I wish the best for you. I wish the best for you. It is coming. All you have to do is just surrender to it. Surrender to it. Get it out of your own way. Heal yourself. Heal past relationships. Heal things that's, that's hindering you from moving forward. Because there is, there's just this great big package that's waiting for you on the just long just let go is all you have to do and then all these things are just going to come flowing into your life real easily and effortlessly and it promises you that just look back at the video where it just promises it's promising you so much the world is offering you the world and all you got to do is just let go and let god okay okay it was nice meeting you and i hope to hear from you again and you take care of yourself and do what those guys want you to do and you're going to be okay i had to go through that myself too so i wish you all the best okay you take care and i'll talk to you soon okay bye bye <laughs>